Being an old fan of the He-Man franchise growing up, when my good friend, DJ Special Ops, asked if I wanted to go to a He-Man convention, I figured, why not? Let's jump on the plane and continue a summer adventure. This is Mad Respect TV visiting PowerCon 2021, held in Anaheim, California. To begin, I'd like to apologize to the audience for some of the video quality on this one. Physically, it's tough for me to film and walk at the same time, but I did want to showcase some of the atmosphere, especially for audience members who may not have had an opportunity to attend a con like this. One thing I will say is, if you've ever been on the fence on attending one someday, I would recommend doing it at least once in your life. It's one of those things where you can say, hey, I did that, or do you remember the time when we did this? That's generally how I feel about it, so again, I'd recommend you attend at least once. We only personally attended one day, but as you can see, the lines built, uh, as you can kind of see these before and after shots. I originally tried to do a voiceover when I was capturing original video, but it was so loud that I just had to do this voiceover. But again, before, after, there's quite a bit here. DJ was really after the toys on this particular event, where I was more interested in apparel, decoration, and maybe some custom works. Personally, I enjoy shows like these, because it kind of reminds you of seeing all the different merchants' wares. I tend to do better working a booth at events like this, like I do with uh, NSB Comics sometimes. That being said, it's still a great time, as you can see from this colorful atmosphere. Here's a little bit of direct commentary we took around midday. Okay, so here we are in mid afternoon in Anaheim, California. You are in Anaheim, right? Yep, we're in Anaheim. Great. Over at the Hilton by the pool, uh, taking a little bit, of, taking a little bit of a break from the convention. Our room's right up there. So, uh, yeah, just figured uh, we'll talk a little bit about the, the con. So I thought it was an amazing con. Um, went through it in probably two about. hours. Uh, there was what five different aisles to go down. So many toys from G.I. Joe to Thundercats to Transformers uh, to He-Man and every booth. Um, but just uh, asking Mad Marty here a few questions and see how he, what he thought about the the Comic Con or uh, Power Con. Sorry, <laughs> this is the first Power Con Comic Con that I've been to, and it was just amazing. Um, but yeah. So you got some questions for me. So, how do you think they handled the line getting into? Power con. Okay, now that was actually pretty nuts. Because at first, uh, you know, I, I walked up and I met up with DJ Special Apps this morning. I met you up this morning. Let's get breakfast because once I knew you we were already in the line, I knew it was time to get serious. But it, it was a, like a layer of seven lines that wrapped around the entire uh, second floor. So it, it was really no joke. 
I do have to express my gratitude, though, to the staff here. Uh, they did take care of people with disabilities like myself. I got to sit in a chair and kind of wait my turn. They let uh, DJ and I in a little bit early just to peruse. I mean, it wasn't like a huge deal, but it was definitely a massively helpful, massively appreciated. Yeah, it was about, they let us in about 10 minutes early. Yeah. Uh, my general thoughts on the con itself, and I'm assuming you're gonna ask me that too. Yeah, that was the next question. Uh, you know, I see all these people here, and I see these booths. And it's like you 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 want to spend. You really want to spend, and you want you want to spend more than you probably should. And I think that's a pretty fair way to put it. But I've seen a lot of these artists, and a lot of these individuals that are here, these guests. You know, some are actually um, semi-famous too, uh, like uh, Alan Opp Oppenheimer. The voice of Skeletor was here. Um, yeah. You said the voice of the Beast was here. Yes, uh, X Men animated series in the '90s. Uh, Beast Man uh, got his name at the moment, but he was here. I think his name is Larry. Yeah. I'll, I'll have to check into that, but uh, yeah, again, uh, just. Uh, when you're walking around, you like want to support these booths, and you want to like you know spend money, but it can get pretty expensive pretty quickly. But it could add, it has just about every piece of nostalgia type of toys they could offer. Myself personally, I'm more into attire or artwork, but uh, I really enjoyed walking the walking the lines. Larry Houston. Larry Houston. Yeah. Um, I even saw one of the original directors. Did you cool. did you get to meet uh, Dan Pixel at all? Uh, which who's that again? Dan Pixel. Uh, he does YouTube uh, reviews on toys. Oh yeah, I we pointed them out to you at the bar last night with the mohawk on. Yeah, I I didn't actually meet with him, but I remember you talking about him last night. Um, later in the video, I'm gonna do some uh, show some of the business cards I got and some of the other uh, booths that I stopped at. I like to stop at the booths. I like to talk with the people. I like the interaction. What I like about these cats, it's like the great bazaars of old. You know, just walking through like an old school bazaar, you know, looking at wares and uh, other things of that nature. But that's just my general thoughts. Did you have any other questions, DJ? What was your favorite uh, toy that you saw? The, I'm going to say that there were two. Um, on my video clips, I have also captured it. Uh, one guy had a bunch of in-the-box Transformers, and I saw two Decepticon Jet Seekers, Thrust and Dirge. I've never seen them in the actual store when I was a kid, so I thought that was a pretty cool sight. I mean, he had a lot of good stuff, but uh, again, they're like, what, 150 175 a pop? 175 Yeah. I saw Megatron for $200. No, Megatron... Mirage was two hundred dollars, and Megatron was three fifty. Yeah, I mean it's, it's really no joke around here. Uh, well, right now, uh, DJ and I are just gonna chill by the pool here for a bit, and we're gonna order a pizza. It's gonna be great, and then hopefully we uh, we'll, uh, we'll get a chance to check out the costume contest later, and uh, maybe possibly hit the beach later. Oh, so yeah. uh, we'll uh, catch you in a bit. Catch you in a bit. See ya. And the costume contest certainly did not disappoint. Let's take a look at some of these amazing fans.
the costumes were a sight, and I was really glad to see it. Uh, but beyond that, I just personally got some patches because I'm kind of into that. I'll need to find a jacket or a bag for them to go on, but I was pretty pleased with that. Finally, the last thing with the convention, we had a nice fireworks seat to nighttime Disney fireworks. It was a nice touch. Five fifteen, Sunday morning, five fifteen in the AM. And this is what the lobby looks like. Barely a soul. Actually kind of therapeutic. Kind of peaceful. I am very sore, but totally worth it. So there you have it. PowerCon 2021. A huge thank you to the organizers of the event, as well as to those who ran it. And no shortage of thank yous to my partner and buddy, DJ Special Apps. Again, this is Mad Marty, reminding you to do what's responsible, avoid what's irresponsible, make the most of what you got, and get respect. Mad respect. See you next time.